Want to add a link to a container in Elementor? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that, step by step, so you can make your site even more interactive and user-friendly. I used Elementor to build the site in this video. If you want to give it a shot, check out the affiliate link below. It's what I personally use. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Start by opening your browser and logging into the back end of your WordPress website. Once you're on the dashboard, go to the left-hand side menu and click on Pages. Pick any page you want to edit. In my case, I selected the home page. Click on Edit with Elementor. It might take a few seconds to load, so just wait for it to open the Elementor editor. Now you're on the home page and you can edit everything from layout and headings to images and containers. Scroll down a bit on the home page and you'll come across a section with a six-dot icon. That icon represents a container. Click on it, and on the left-hand side, the Edit Container panel will appear. Scroll down until you find the Additional Options section. Here, you'll see settings like Overflow and HTML Tag, both set to default. To make this container clickable, go to the HTML Tag drop-down and change it to Link. As soon as you do that, a new field appears where you can paste a URL. Next to that field, you'll see a gear icon and a dynamic tags button. Click on the dynamic tags button and select internal URL. Now click on the wrench icon next to it. Under type, select content from the drop-down menu. That will open a new field called search and select. Click on it and start typing the name of any page from your website. For example, I typed example page and selected it. Now this container will redirect to the example page. Let's preview it. When a visitor scrolls down the home page and clicks on the container, they'll be taken straight to the example page in a new tab. Just like that. You can do the same thing with another container too. Just repeat the process. Change the HTML tag to link and in the URL field, paste an external link like google.com instead of using dynamic tags. Click on the gear icon again and you'll see a couple of options. One is open in new window, which makes the link open in a new tab. The other is add nofollow, and there's also space to add custom attributes if needed. Preview everything before you hit publish to make sure it looks and works the way you want. If this video helped, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next one.